I remember the First Liberties Festival back in 1970. I remember the excitement that it caused. There was an outside broadcasting unit down below on where car market officers are at the time. And I remember the people being involved at the time, the likes of Larry Dillon, Dave Fitzpatrick, Gannon Callahan, Michael Chemist Walsh. Uh, there's other people there, uh, Larkin O'Dellun, Larry Dillon's cousin, <coughs> Anna Callan, and other people who were greatly involved and greatly, and loved the liberties an awful lot, and they were really determined to show the liberties for what it was as a great place of culture, heritage, and a community spirit, a vibrant community spirit that was there at the time. It's going on now, it's uh, in its 44th year, which is an amazing achievement for any festival, and I'm really proud to be around at this time, uh, things like, you know. So, the exhibition tonight, I've worked in the Liberties four years. I like tattoos as well. Um, but one of the things you notice about people in the Liberties, nearly everyone has a tattoo. You're actually, if you don't have a tattoo, it's quite unusual. So, we've been talking with the idea of what could we do with that. And as a trial, um, three weeks ago, we had one day called Tattoo You, and we invited people to book themselves in for a portrait. And, well, you've seen the results tonight. We've been blown away by the photography, by the people that give up their time to get their photographs taken, and by the artwork on their body. Uh, my name is Gerard O'Donnell. I uh, photographed the exhibition tonight for the Liberties Festival. I would never have considered myself a professional photographer, even though I'm, I've taken photos from the age of 17. I, had, I got my first camera when I was like a kid, really. And I've begun to understand how important lighting was and how you know, a photograph can create a mood. Um, I wasn't intending on doing this and I never ever thought that I would have a photography exhibition, but I am quite proud of it. I'm quite proud of it, I like the result. If I walked in, I, I think I would like this, you know. The thing that excites me the most about creating this was I don't have any tattoos and I never understood why someone would have a tattoo and live with that for the rest of their lives. But, now I understand why someone would have a tattoo on their arm and because it reminds them of a loved one that has passed away or a moment in their life that has been so special to them. Well, my tattoo started off as one little Chinese symbol. Um, I got it done on my 30th birthday. I thought, okay, I've wanted a tattoo for years. If I get one when I'm 30, I kind of want one and it's grown from then. Um, so it's developed over the years and it's gotten bigger and I'm always planning my next one. My next tattoo is always in my head. So uh, this arm is kind of finished for the minute, so I'm moving over to the next arm now. 